when Romney he won the toss and you elected to go last, so you have a closing two minutes, Mr. President. Well, Jim, I want to thank you, and I want to thank Governor Romney, because I think this was a, a terrific debate, uh, and I very much appreciate it. Uh, and I want to thank the U University of Denver. Uh, you know, four years ago, uh, we were going through a major crisis, uh, and yet uh, my faith and confidence in the American uh, future is undiminished. And the reason is because of its people. Because the woman I met in North Carolina who decided at 55 to go back to school because she wanted to inspire her daughter and now has a job from that new training that she's gotten. Because a company in Minnesota who was uh, willing to give up salaries and purpose for their executives to make sure that they didn't lay off workers during a recession. Uh, the auto workers that you meet in Toledo or Detroit take such pride in building the best cars in the world, not just because of the paycheck but because it gives them that sense of pride that they're helping to build America. And so the question now is how do we build on those strengths? And everything that I've tried to do, and everything that I'm now proposing for the next four years in terms of improving our education system or developing uh, American energy, or making sure that we're closing loopholes for companies that are shipping jobs overseas and focusing on small businesses and companies that are creating jobs here in the United States, or, or closing our deficit in a responsible, balanced way that allows us to invest in our future, all those things are designed to make sure that the American people, their genius, their grit, their determination uh, is, is channeled and, 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 and they have an opportunity to succeed. And everybody's getting a fair shot and everybody's getting a fair share. Hey, everybody's doing a fair share and everybody's playing by the same rules. You know, four years ago, uh, I said that I'm not a perfect man and I wouldn't be a perfect president. And that's probably a promise that Governor Romney thinks I've kept. But I also promised that I'd fight every single day on behalf of the American people, the middle class, and all those who are striving to get in the middle class. I've kept that promise, and if you'll vote for me, uh, then I promise I'll fight just as hard in the second term. Governor Romney, your two minutes. Oh. Thank you, Jim, and Mr. President, thank you for tuning in this evening. This is, a, uh, this is an important election, and I'm concerned about America. I'm concerned about the direction America has been taking over the last four years. I, uh, I know this is bigger than an election about uh, the two of us as, as individuals. It's bigger than our respective parties. It's an election about the course of America. What kind of America do you want to have for yourself and for your children? And there really are two very different paths that we began speaking about this evening. And over the course of this month, we're going to have two more presidential debates and a vice presidential debate. We'll talk about those two paths. But they lead in very different directions. And it's not just looking to our words that you have to take an evidence of where they go. You can look at the record. There's no question in my mind that if the president were to be reelected, you'll continue to see a middle class squeeze with incomes going down and prices going up. I'll get incomes up again. You'll see chronic unemployment. We've had 43 straight months with unemployment above 8%. If I'm president, I will create, help create 12 million new jobs in this country with rising incomes. The president's reelected. Obamacare will be fully installed. In my view, that's going to mean a whole different way of life for people who counted on the insurance plan they had in the past. Many will lose it. You're going to see health premiums go up by some $2,500 per, per family. If I'm elected, we won't have Obamacare. We'll put in place the kind of principles that I've put in place in my own state and allow each state to craft their own programs to get people insured and we'll focus on getting the cost of health care down. If the president were to be reelected, you're going to see a $716 billion cut to Medicare. You'll have 4 million people who will lose Medicare Advantage. You'll have hospitals and providers that will no longer accept Medicare patients. I'll restore that $716 billion to Medicare. And finally, military. The president's reelected. You'll see dramatic cuts to our military. The Secretary of Defense has said these would be even devastating. I will not cut our commitment to our military. I will keep America strong and get America's middle class working again. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Mr. President. The next debate will be the vice presidential event on Thursday, October 11th at Center College in Danville, Kentucky. For now, from the University of Denver, I'm Jim Lara. Thank you and good night. We will continue to watch what happens on stage, the embrace between the two men. After a 90-plus minute debate, moderated by Jim Lehrer, and our greeting to both spouses. Again, it is the Obama's
Hurst's 20th wedding anniversary tonight. Uh, one